Hey everybody, KB1NYD, Mike. Uh, new subscriber, want to uh, say congratulations on 3,000 subs um, to uh, City Survivalist. Uh, congratulations, that's a good number. And uh, you're running a contest uh, for your 3,000 sub appreciation contest. Uh, designing a knife. Interesting concept. I kind of like the idea of having the um, pry bar into the knife. Um, so I've come up with an idea, and, and this is not a CAD drawing, and this is definitely not a professional drawing by any stretch of the imagination, but just my idea for your for your knife building, whether I win or not or not, it's a mute point, it was kind of interesting to try it out. But what I was thinking was, one of the things about a pry bar is you need leverage. So you have to, if you were to combine the two, the knife and the, the pry bar together, which is actually a good idea, especially for a survivalist tool, you would need to... Uh, to make the blade a little bit on the smaller side so the handle is longer so you could use it for the leverage. And basically what I come up with is this idea right, right here. Now, as you can see it's about 10 inches long and at the thickest part it's about an inch and an eighth wide. Um, you've got the blade at this end and you've got your hilt here. I believe that's what it's called. Forgive me if I'm not right. No. I'm wrong. Then you got the long handle. You'd still have a lanyard down here, and of course the eyelet for the pry bar and the two teeth for the pry bar. So you would have the whole thing in one unit. And if you were to hold it in your hand, see it's a decent size, you know, knife. But the two pry bar is still down below, which you could also use, you know, for prying and stuff. That's the other thing. See, now your hand's not up on the blade. So I think combining the two is a is a great idea. Um, and I really like that idea, and I think this 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 kind of kind of would work. I, I kind of like the idea of it. Now I'm not sure if it's practical. I don't make knives, so I can't say that this is 100% great idea. But um, you know, you might change what the uh, actual blade looks like on the end a little bit. But about 10 inches long seems to be pretty good. You might give yourself another inch and do an 11 half, and give yourself that extra leverage on this end for for holding when you're prying. But you know, I don't think you want to go too much bigger than this. Um, and it's not a super wide, you know, the two inch blade one, because basically I think this would just be good as, it, it's like a nice knife to have with you, but you've got the pry bar option on the end, which, you know, could also break glass if you had to. Um, you know, you could do a lot of things with that. So that's an interesting idea, and having it all in one tool would be great for any survivalist out there. I mean, that's what you want. You want a multi purpose tool. You don't want to have to carry a thousand things, and this one kind of takes care of that problem. So, um, you, of course, you know, you could put like a, some wood right here maybe um, to give yourself a better handle, wrap it in leather, um, you know, whatever you have to do. You can make the whole thing just out of the flat steel and then just keep it that way and wrap this with electrical tape and make it, you know, really just one piece of steel which would be really nice. A um, thousand ways to do it. But this is my entry into your contest. Hey, everybody's got to give one, so this is mine. Hopefully you like it. Thanks again.